What's up, guys? It's Effectso Sick here. You can call me Brandon, whatever you like. And uh, I'm bringing you a video on Nuketown Zombies. Um, and we managed to get to round 43, me and my buddy Aon, Aon King. Uh, at the start of the rounds, we were kind of exploring the map, see what worked best for us. And uh, I, I think that the best spot on this map, honestly, is the back of the green room. And that's because, I mean, it's so level. Uh, compared to the other sides of the map and one it's uh, open space where you can you know do rape trains or bus circles around this rock here as i'm doing and i mean with uh any other spot such my buddy who's in the middle um running around doing his rape trains in the middle going through the uh the bus it is or the semi truck whatever and uh i'm gonna i mean he had it more difficult than i did that's for sure that as you can see he's going to get his perks again because i just picked him up but um yeah i mean uh i mean i guess the the other in the back the back of the yard of the other house i mean that's decent those are the only like three i mean well that's the entire map but depends on how you work the middle the middle is the hardest part in my opinion uh the back of the both houses easiest easiest places but especially the back of the green house right here as i'm doing because uh what you got to do is you know i mean just continue, you know, trying to avoid these zombies the best you can. I mean, building up the rape train, as you can see, uh, running around this rock. I mean, that, that's what you got to do uh, to stay alive. I mean, these slow zombies, I don't know what's up with that. I mean, it's around 43 and they just mess up everything. But uh, anyways, back to the video uh, and uh, the tips that I'm trying to give you. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you for clicking and viewing this video and give me a chance. I mean... Uh, I'm new to this thing. I uh, figured I'd give it a try, give some advice on what I, you know, would do, and hopefully that you take something from this video, no matter how little it is. I mean, you know, some sort of advice that'll help you get to this round and even pass this round because that's why I'm uploading this. I mean, this is my highest round currently, uh, and hopefully, you know, you can get past it. But anyways, I'm rocking the ray gun and uh, upgrade ray gun, and I believe the upgraded hammer. And uh, also, you, a good thing is to have, you know, monkey bombs. That's another good thing, but not necessarily needed on this map, I would say. But it doesn't hurt. And uh, go ahead and get Syntexes. That that helps uh, at high rounds to weaken the zombies. Along with Claymores. I got to tell you, Claymores are really helpful, in my opinion. They uh, they help make crawlers when needed. Because, uh, I mean, it's, it, it acts as an extra grenade where I can, you know, weaken them and come off easier. But, um, so, uh, what, what I would recommend is, uh, to, uh, maintain your starting pistol. I mean, I can't stress that enough. Uh, you need to keep your starting pistol if you plan on getting to high rounds or making videos. See, I went down here, but, uh, yeah, once you upgrade it, you get the Mustang and Sally's, and that's, that's what you need to get to this high round. Uh, I dropped mine in the late 30s, which I was kind of pissed, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty pissed. Um... But I, I tried to manage. I mean, you definitely have to hit the box a lot more because those light machine guns, they they suck at high rounds. I mean, they just burn through like 500 bullets, kills a whole group. And I mean, that's not what's going to help you get to these high rounds. But uh, luckily I had the ray gun and that helped, helped out a lot. I mean, but the ray gun and the uh, Mustang and Sally's, the good combo right there. Uh, you can also get a... I believe it's the the executioner and upgrade it to the voice of justice and that works just as well as the ray gun i would i would even trade it to get that because uh it was killing off groups that are you know around 39 easily and uh also another tip whenever you need to buy your perks go up top through the stairs up top of the map jump down and then run through to you know the other side of the map to get your extra perks because uh that's that's the easy way to avoid going down because i have no juggernaut here and i get it easily and manage to you know go back up the same way i came get my quick revive here and uh try to make it back to my spot and yeah see how see how see how level this it's not really level at all i mean this the middle area is chaotic i just avoid it i let him take it but um yeah guys uh but that's pretty much the gist of it i mean Get those three weapons, the Executioner upgraded, the Voice of Justice, Mustang and Sally's, and the Ray Gun. And you can even throw in a light machine gun, but it's not really needed to kill high, you know, high round groups. But 
that's all you really need and I hope this helped you some way uh, you can see right here uh, just just keep doing the circles I mean that's all you got to do doing a circle formation around the map somewhere around obstacle I mean taking advantage of the rock to get out of you know tricky situations and you see my buddy went down here this is when it kind of everything fell loose I go down and but it was kind of pretty late so I was kind of tired but it's whatever maybe we'll get past this round hopefully you got some and uh, thanks for watching also I forgot to mention uh, I know some of you like to see this uh, I had about 650,000 uh, points and 2600 kills my buddy had 700,000 points and 2800 kills so we did work I would have to say and uh, don't forget to uh, like subscribe to see more content like this I'd really appreciate it uh, and thanks for viewing guys